what's up guys welcome to another video and today we're finally gonna be working on the Volkswagen we're gonna take care take it to the shop for new tires and alignment uh, the reason why it took so long I had to get this sucker so this is a new reinforced bolt we're gonna um, give to these guys so they can replace the old bolt that I mentioned on my last video about this car if you haven't seen I'll leave a link um, down below or up top and um, yeah, so I have the bolt, so they're gonna replace it to help reinforce it and adjust it, adjust it as well because the car is off, alignment is off, and these tires are overdue. Like they need to be changed now. So we're gonna go to my go to my regular shop and we're gonna knock this out. Let's get it. This is how crazy off I am right now. So right now this car is in sh is directed straight, so it's literally pointed straight. And look how slanted my steering wheel is. It's ridiculous, man. But Hopefully, it'll look like this by the end of the video. Man, I've been so annoyed every time I drive the car looking like this. It's very discouraging. But, uh, can't wait to get this over with. Look at the size of these tires, bro. Jeez. 26, bro. 35 by 13 and a half. 26. You could literally have this and just put like a pillow or something and have your pet lay on it. So she's finally done. Got new tires. Let's get out of here. Oh, what the flip? It was a plastic bag. It looked like a piece of plastic bag I stuck on there. Shit, I don't even know if that's a plastic bag. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. say, man. It's like, as long as it's not blood, it's not blood. So, I don't think these are the ones. They're just the upgraded ones that you get. Yeah, because you see how those are yeah, skinny? Exactly, and they snap off in there. Mm hmm. So, yeah. It's great because, you know, like the. Um, you can adjust the subframe on these, so it's like very important. Yeah, so I, before I readjust, I say, you know what, let me just get those bolts. Tomorrow. 
So uh, these are the old bolts. Uh, they're pretty, pretty banged up. So all he needs now is a proper alignment. Um, when it hit bumps and stuff like that, uh -huh. I would hear it like rattle from the bottom. Would it matter if it um, torque all the bolts or it's just those rare, the rare ones? Um, technically you want to torque all of them. Okay. But usually like actually adjust the subframe on these uh, plenty of times. As long as you like, you know, impact it good. I think it's about like 86 foot pounds up to 124 foot pounds of torque. Uh, right. And you're hearing noise, what kind of noise are you hearing? Like, you know, when hit a bump in here, like, call like a little contact. Like, like he's like, I, I know it's for, it was the, uh, the, uh, subframe. Because I already tested the struts and the, uh, the tower, the, the, the towers and everything. You like the and everything? Yeah, it's, I don't see any, any issues with that. So, we're going to verify to make sure everything is good so we don't have that repeated issues. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna let the man work. So wait, he beat on from top? Yeah, oh, because you want to put a little bit of gap on top. Mm -hmm. So that when it goes, it stretches on top first. And then when it beats, it goes all the way down. And it just expands on yeah, both sides. Oh, he got that shit, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got it, but... I was scared. I see the way you leaning back. I'm like, okay, you know what? Let me step back too, because... I don't know how much you can bust it, but I see what you're talking about. Once they expand from top to bottom, it, it fill everything else. Mm -hmm. Force the tires to expand. Holy crap. So let me go ahead and get you an actual bar graph going on. So this is actually the rear, a little bit of camber, okay. a little bit of toe out. It's not too bad. The front, um, so on these, it's the subframe you want it to be side to side, camber and caster, you want it to be even. There's actually no way to individually adjust camber from side to side, unless you have like some crazy aftermarket ball joints or something like that. Yeah, I know. I... As long as it's even, um, it's been slightly lowered, does that affect the suspension? Well, slightly? it was it was lowered. I raised it up a little bit because it was rubbing. Okay. Like when I was so doing a couple events. Usually it... with this, like for it to be in spec, they would want the geometry to be within factory specifications, so like the height and everything according to the geometry. Yeah. 1.7, it's not too crazy. Um, this toe out right here, that's um, making it super nimble, super touchy. Um, when you're driving, in order for the steering wheel to be center, it goes to the right by itself, right? Right. Uh, but it actually doesn't have a pull, it's just the steering wheel keeps going for you. So let me go ahead and put this back. I think I'm just going to match this side. I don't want to go too much positive, I don't want your fenders to start rubbing on you. Okay. So you got the poly bushings in there. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice, very nice. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so it's just I just focus mostly on the front. Look at your sway bar in length, the nut. Oh, right here. Up there, you see that nut? Yep. So that's gonna be the source of your noise. That's right the there. noise. I gotta tighten that up. I got you. All right. You Thank you. So this side, should this one looks a lot better. Yeah, that's more secure. You could just tell by the angle of that nut on there, or the angle of the ball joint. So let me go ahead and tighten that up for you a little bit. It's 18. Okay. Damn, that's a lot of turns. Pretty much on his way out. Alright, so back up there. No, Nothing. Okay. Yep, no play. Just yeah. a simple little tightening. Yep. Never really explained the exhaust setup, but I have a uh, catless downpipe that follows all the way through. No restrictions until I get to this muffler right here. This helps a lot with the drone, and then follow through to the exhaust tips. So it's a straight pipe all the way through. So literally, this is the only restriction I have on my exhaust, which is perfect. But yeah. So guys, it's the next day. Um, it was really dark, so I couldn't really show you the results. 
of the um the alignment that I did. So this is the alignment that was before, so it looks really out of whack. I'm talking about like really messed up. Um, made the that's why I had that that dramatic feel of the steering and stuff like that. And then after they replaced the bolts, that's supposed the two large bolt that secures the, uh, the subframe, and they realign it. This is what they got. So it looks way better. Don't mind uh, the two on the. The two reds on the top that's just basically because my car is lowered and i don't have a camera kit so if you want to take care of this you could go ahead and get a camera kit to get that you know straightened out but other than that everything else looks perfect and i'm very happy with it it also shows the results where the steering wheel pretty much centered so i'm happy with it man i'm i'm grateful and on that note guys i'm about to head out on this beautiful day thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And I cannot wait to see you guys in the next video. Peace.